Hey guys, Sherm here, and today I'm going to be playing Mini Motorways for the second time on my channel because we have a new map called Wellington. So previously, I forget which track it was that I played, but more recently than that, I've gotten a new best of 3900 on Mexico City, and as you can see, best zero, this is the first time that I will have ever played on this map. So we're gonna play it, try it out, and just see... I don't know what we can do with it. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this game before. It's pretty popular for a while. Pretty much you have a certain amount of roads and you have to try to connect houses um, up to, let's see, up to stores of the same color, typically using the least amount of roads possible so that you have more for later. And as the game goes on, you get more and more different stores and different houses and different colors of them. And you have to figure out how to do all that without the traffic getting all congested. And also, um, at the end of each week, you get some cool new stuff. You can click this to fast forward it. I went through more detailed of all this stuff in my first video about the game. So go watch that if you would like to see what it is like more specifically. So here we also have one tunnel. Now the cool thing about the tunnels... Oh, we can't go through there yet. <laughs> so we're going to have to cut straight through the mountain. Can't connect directly through a house. Oh no, what are we going to do? Um, but the cool thing about these is they only count for one space. Anyway, we've got the tunnel going through the mountain now. And we've already done something that I usually like to avoid and what I will probably change at some point. I don't really like having intersections like this. I like reducing the number of intersections I have as much as possible because number one, cars slow down there, as you can see, especially at four-way intersections such as this one, and it can get congested later on when you have more cars and more stores and more houses. And we just got an upgrade already. Wow, that was quick. We usually don't get upgrades that fast. So when a store turns this yellow color, that means, uh, let's see, definitely taking the tunnel. When the store turns this yellow color, that means that um, it requires more people to actually get to it. Again, I don't really care for this. Uh, let's pause it, which you can also do. I'm going to make another way through the mountain because I don't want to have another one running on the same road at this point. Okay, we've got some green. I'm just going to connect this up because we've only got two on the on this one road at this point. Like, I'm okay having two colors going on the same track, but when you get up to uh, three, that's when it starts getting really congested. So I'm okay with doing this to save some road tiles because we don't actually have all that many right now. Okay, we can either get a bridge or 40 road tiles. Um, I think the bridge will be more useful since we don't have any at all right now. I want to at least have one if I do need it. I'm not thinking that it will be all that useful because we only have this one up above here. Okay, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to pull this over and all the way over here and down. Since we do not actually have a um, another tunnel, I cannot put it straight through the mountain unless I were to get rid of this blue one, but I kind of like how that is. Now, we do have a problem. This intersection in the lower right is going to become congested. So we're going to have to figure out a fix for that. I think one thing we can do is not have the yellow traffic running directly into it. If we did something like uh, like this, I think that would probably end up being better. Okay, so now let's think about this. So we have to connect the blue houses up here, okay? We can do this fairly easily by just adding a road here and sticking everything in. Um, also, we have to actually connect this <laughs> for this to work properly. This is not going to be that big of a deal because we only have one yellow uh, store over here at the current time. Now, these blue ones down here could cause a bit of a problem. Just going to make a little connection right there. Again, just trying to save in road tiles, because right now you see we only have 11. Hopefully we can get some motorways at some point, and hopefully we can fix a little bit of the issues of everything going the same way. And, speak of the devil, we get a motorway, which I'm going to take, because motorways are just extremely important in this game. And I would take 10 road tiles in a motorway over 30 road tiles, I mean 40 road tiles any day. But you cannot put motorways over mountains, which could become a problem. 
Also, in the upper right, you can see our score, which is counted by the number of cars that have successfully made a trip to and from a store. Our map is getting pretty big. We are probably going to get a new house soon. And it would be kind of embarrassing if I said this and we did not get a new house or a store soon. So, please appear. Please appear. Don't embarrass me on my video game. Come on! Okay. It, it just wanted to embarrass me. Never mind. One eternity later. And we have gotten nothing new, and we are just about to get our thingy here. So, we need to get a bridge or a roundabout. This is a tough one. We already have one bridge, so... And there's not much water, so I don't think I'm going to need another one. So I'm going to actually go with a roundabout, because I'm thinking over on the right here we might need one at some point. Okay, and we have just now gotten some white, and this is where I think I'm just going to stick a motorway straight there, because I'm, I'm not about to route everything through the middle. If we get anything else going from the lower left to the upper right also, that could be useful, uh, but I think this was probably a pretty good move. Okay, our red has upgraded. This means that we're going to get more red houses soon. Every time a store upgrades from uh, from a square to a circle, we do generally get more houses to feed it. So you can actually, well, get all the, um, the little pingy thingies. I don't know what they should actually be called, but you can. Just got a new yellow square. Um, I'm, I'm getting a little bit concerned that we might need a murder way for yellow, which I'm going to take. So here, um, let's, let's think about this. So we have all these yellow going over to the right. I think it would be better if we made a motorway going from here. Let's just put it right here and pull it all the way over to this place. Okay. So this means that they can go straight over this road we don't actually need anymore. I'm going to keep this one um, just for the time being, but we don't need that anymore. That means also we can pull this in, and we now have one less crossing at this intersection. So let's go and see what happens. Also, because we have so much going on here, I'm going to reroute the blues through this section. Hopefully they go that way instead, or if not, it will be an extra way that they can go. And we have our first dark blue, and thankfully, we don't actually have any tunnels, so it's not thankfully after all. So we're gonna have to pull this around and connect it right in. Shouldn't be a problem for now at least, since we have, uh, since it's just square. And we have a green all the way over on the side without an extra motorway. So we cannot pull it in. It's actually at the proper height. So I think for now, I'm just going to pull it over. I'm actually going to connect it right here so they have less travel distance. Or not less travel distance, but they don't have to go through as many intersections. If you minimize the amount of intersections cars have to go through, they will be faster. And if you minimize the number of other stores or houses they have to pass by, you reduce congestion. And this isn't really good. We have these green ones over here going through this intersection, which I do not really like. I'm going to take a tunnel here because we might need one at some point. I do not like that though. We're gonna have to do something with this intersection at some point, but so far everything is working okay. And that one just upgraded. Okay, what if we connect this up, make these green houses go to the motorway instead? That's a thought. That way, they won't uh, clutter up this intersection here. Obviously, we, we still need that, but we won't have more going to it. Hopefully, they will take that way instead. I don't really want the greens going down here, but I'm going to leave it for now. Also, these, just going to pull this straight over. Going to pull this straight down. And obviously, we are going to connect this up. I'm noticing we are having some trouble with our green, so I think what I'm going to do... Okay, I'm going to remove this motorway, because I want to direct more greens directly over there, and I think that would be a better use of it, because I'm going to put yellow roads going straight over there. Because the yellows are all still square, I, we don't actually need to worry about that as much as the greens right now. 
Okay, so at this point, what I can do, if I direct all of these ones over to there, right? Okay, we do that and get this this weird, like, I don't know why it, why it looks like this, but if we do that, we can pull all those over there. And then we can put these, um, we can redirect them over to this one. Except we don't have any road tiles left. All right, let's just wait. Let's just wait for the time being. Things are okay as they are now. Um, we just needed to deal with that green over there, but nothing is like super close to overflowing besides that one. And we've got this green up here. That means we're gonna have to connect that in too. I will absolutely take 40 road tiles. I need those road tiles <laughs> since we are basically out. So the question is at this point, what do we do with them? First of all, um, these are fine. We don't need to make a shorter route for those. That would be kind of useless at that point. What we do need to do is figure out what to do with the greens. So I don't really like doing that, but I guess I'm going to have to. Um, I'm going to make a road straight through here that they can deal with. I'm just going to try to pull all these greens into this one um, so that it does not fill up because these are going to be taken care of by the ones over here. We also need to worry about these now at this point. Now, this is a little bit concerning, I must admit. I'm going to just pull this straight down here for now and see if there is a problem with it. Because if there is a problem, we can for sure figure something out. And I'm sure you all have been wanting me to do this. I'm just going to make a road going straight like this so we don't have to worry about this bit anymore. And also at that point, we don't need this anymore either because this building will be self-sufficient. We don't need that. Uh, this one we can just pull straight in here. Um, we're gonna get more of the dark blue houses soon. Yep, because we now have two buildings and we need more. And thankfully we are getting a ton of greens to deal with this one. Um, all the ones over to the right center are dealing with the one over to the left through the motorway. And these ones down the lower right can go either way. I think for now we are doing fine. Okay, we can get a motorway, which I absolutely am going to do. Also, I'm going to connect these directly through here instead of going down and around because that will make things more efficient as well. Um, where do we want to put our motorway? Where do we have the most issues? I'm going to leave it as it is for now. And if I see issues developing, then I will put them there. I see this dark blue in the upper right is having some problems, but it's not really filling up. The main issues that you have is if it fills up, if it turns red and you don't have enough roads to get cars quickly there, that is when you need a motorway. I am going to pull this in too because, well, we need more blue. Okay, our yellow has upgraded. This yellow here, I feel like we really do need a motorway. Like, I don't want to keep funneling the yellows to the middle, so let's just do that. Let's put our motorway back here. This means the greens can also go to this one a bit quicker if they do want to. And this means now we have a bunch of motorways all on top of one another. And it's kind of getting difficult to see, but hopefully this will stop this yellow from building up. And hopefully it will reduce some of the traffic congestion through this lower right section. All right, we've got a new blue house. Just going to funnel this through there. Again, taking the shortest route that does not involve going through a bunch of other already busy intersections. And speaking of busy intersections, you see this one right here, kind of in the middle. We're gonna have to figure out what to do with that in a bit, because this is not healthy. One thing we can do, since we do have a tunnel, we're going to make a tunnel going straight through here instead. I'm going to put it right there. And this means we don't need this road anymore. Um, that'll do. Let's see if this works. Coming up toward the end of the week, just got a new blue one. Let's connect that in right there because that's really all we need for now. We will take a tunnel. I have not needed a bridge yet. So yeah, um, the only time I would need a bridge is if I run out of motorway and I need something connecting over this big bit of water. But since there's no rivers in here, Tunnels are so much more useful. Some blue houses have been appearing recently, so I am predicting we're going to get something new blue soon. Or we just did actually, that's probably why. Okay, and this is what I was talking about we might need a bridge for. A motorway would work for this, but we do not have one, so I am going to use my bridge 
and go across the river here. And it now does take up road tiles, unfortunately. That is kind of sad, I must say. So far, so good. We have beat the record that we got to in our previous video, which was around, was it like 1100 or something like that? Um, so I'd say that's pretty good. Kind of my aim is 2000. If I can get to 2000, I'll be happy. And let's take the road tiles because we already have a roundabout. Haven't used it yet, probably are not going to unless I find a really good spot for it. We've got a new white. These are okay, because the whites from below can service that one there. And so far, nothing has turned red or gotten, I think, above six pingy thingies. Let's just call them pickups. That makes more sense. I gave this yellow some more to feed from, from over on the left here. Hopefully that will solve a little bit of its issues, because this yellow in the middle has been the one that has been giving me the most trouble. We got a new red down here. This means we are going to get a new red building soon, calling it now. The white square in the upper middle is having some issues, so I made a new road that they can go on so they stop getting congested in the other one there. Okay, we have a motorway. This is super important. So far, I do not know of a good spot where we can put it, so again, I'm going to save it until something turns red. That is when you know you really need one there, but until then, you can just save it, because the problem is if you put it somewhere you don't really need it, and cars are going over it, it may take a while to get rid of it, so you can put it where you do need it, and this is stuff that I have learned a lot of about since I made that initial video. Okay, now we probably will need a murder way. So we have all these yellows, or all these whites, that we need to somehow get to this one up here. The reason we're going to need a murder way, this one is already struggling, so no way this is going to work otherwise. I want to say we can use this to do a couple of things. So if we connect this over to here, then we make a motorway going from here, or not there, put it right here, and connect it down to, cannot go over a mountain, so where can we put it? So we can put it on this section of road. What I'm thinking here is this can be served so yellows can go to the middle place, but also the white ones can go straight up to there. So I'm gonna connect everything in there and hopefully this will give us a good result. And this white one just got upgraded. Very glad we have that motorway there. Okay, we are just about to the end of Sunday, hit 1969. I'm going to take the traffic lights. These might actually come in handy at some point. And we have just crossed 2,000 deliveries. And I unlocked an achievement Wellington Driver. You get this every time you cross 2,000 deliveries on each map, I believe. And so far, still nothing has turned red. This is honestly a fairly big achievement. I believe this is the highest score I've gotten without something turning red. All right, we have our first red in the upper right of all things with a square. So this means, do we need to put a motorway? Probably. Let's actually do this so they don't have to go through this one to get there if they don't want to. I will put a motorway if I have to, but I don't think we will. Roundabout, I don't, I don't, there's not many places I could actually put one, so I'm going to take the traffic lights again. I really want another motorway. I feel like this is going to be a big deal come a bit later. Okay, now the green up top has turned, but again, it is actually doing okay. I'm actually going to move this motorway to right here, because I feel like that would be a slightly better position for it. And we are almost to 3,000. Again, we are getting a little bit screwed on the motorways part. <laughs> I, I think this is going to be our loss in the end, because in Mexico City, when I got up to 3,900, I think I had like eight or nine motorways or something. It was a lot. We're not getting nearly that many now, and it is causing some problems. We do have some traffic lights, and I'm thinking I'm going to try to start putting those in. So we can put one here. We can put one right here. I'm trying to find where the biggest congestion like intersections are. And I think those are two of the biggest ones at the current time. We also have this one. That'll about do it for now, I think. I don't see any other ones where we're having just a ton of issues. Um, actually, this one. Yeah, that, that one's pretty bad. We have crossed the 3000 mark. If I can get a new high score, that would be awesome. 
I do not really think that is going to happen though because the blues are definitely causing a problem. And okay, this blue in the upper right here, um, yeah, that that is not going to happen. So I think what we do for now, for emergency purposes, we get rid of all of this stuff and we just have the blues go straight through, just straight through. We get rid of all of the yellow stuff for the time being. Unfortunately, we do not have a motorway that we can put. So I'm just going to hope that this temporarily fixes the issues with the blue, even though I do not think it is probably going to. Yeah, there's no way. We're going to be done. The greens and the blues are going to be our downfall, and I do not think there is anything that I can do about it. The, the, this green in the upper bit in particular, there's no way anything's gonna happen with that. And I think that does it for Wellington. Yep. And this is the final map. Uh, wish we had more motorways. This would have been a lot better with that, but I think this is the best that I've done with the fewest amount of motorways. This is the second highest score I have ever gotten. So let us take a photo. What I like to do with this, I like to have the score. I turn off the border. Good gracious, I didn't know there was a Christmas one. And then, yes, I do have those on. Take that. Um, I might upload this if you see it or not see it. You will know at the time that you either see it or don't see it. So, our game is over. Uh, let us go back to the menu and see where we stand on the leaderboard. Since this is new, probably pretty high. In the top 2,000, I will absolutely take that. Considering the rest of these, even on this one, I'm like 4,000. That's still pretty good. But on the ones that I have done the worst on, let's see. What's my, what's my worst one? This one. This is actually the one that I did in the first video. I'm at 200,000. <laughs> so I think 2,000 is pretty good. But yeah, um, I've improved my scores a little bit over the time. But again, as you can see, so Manila, 30, 3277. 3241, so it is our third best almost beating our Manila score. But in any case, guys, this was my first try ever trying this map. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Please do like the video if you have enjoyed, and consider subscribing for more Asphalt and Forza and maybe some more Mini Motorways content. And I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.